Hello there. Welcome to your neighborhood pharmacy. How can I help you? Hello there. I am here to pick up a prescription for my boyfriend. Sure. What is his name? His name is Harry. And what is his last name? I have five different people here each named Harry. His last name is Johnson. Let me take a look here. Looking. 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 I have three people here with that name. Is your boyfriend the one guy who is six feet, has a British accent, and lives on 4th Street? Nope, sorry. That is not him. Is he the guy who is kind of short, says he lives in the mansion down on Medieval Lane? He always comes in and orders Viagra. Well, I am here to pick up a Viagra order for my boyfriend, but he doesn't live in a mansion. In fact, he hasn't been using Viagra for long either. You sure? Out to the three guys with the name Harry, this is the only one who has a Viagra prescription. The other guy has a prescription for herpes. But he lives in the apartment complex across the street. Well, my boyfriend is kind of short. He doesn't live in a mansion that I know of. Does your boyfriend have a tattoo on his left or right arm? Two of the Harry clients have a tattoo. One has it on his right arm and the other on his left. He has a tattoo on his right arm. But how did you know that? He always keeps it covered. Is his number 2423768? Or is it 4688942? It is the first one. But how were you able to read his number off of your phone? Is this a picture of him? Yes, that is indeed him. I used to date him. We still hang out sometimes. He orders Viagra a lot. Also Vicodine. Sometimes I give him free refills. I got to go. Thank you for this dose of medicinal information. Hey! Where are you going? Is everything alright? You forgot your prescription. Now for all of you out there who just watched this, can you see what I did wrong? According to the Confidentiality Act of 1996 that Tipao the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act has established, all employees agree to maintain confidentiality of all company and client information. All information such as medical history, phone number or address, and even the name of the client. So based on what you have seen here, I so did not follow that confidentiality act. So do not do what I did, otherwise you will get your butt fired big time.